Hey everybody, Peter Michael here with the third video on how the contest works. Months ago, I looked at the music situation and I said, oh man, this is great. We got, everybody's able to put their music up. We're going to get all sorts of content. It's going to be awesome because all the people that you previously couldn't hear from, you're going to be able to hear from them. Now, it is a wonderful thing that I'm still happy about with good things with new things there has to be a change sometimes to make it work out and the change with all this content is the fact that we need a filter the filter is the big deal for the decade for the music industry the filter is going to be the biggest thing to happen and as people realize that and latch on to that you're going to see major players in the music industry trying to get on the filter bandwagon each month, we host a monthly contest, and it runs from the beginning of the month to the end. It's open to anybody in the world, any kind of music that you'd like, and you're going to see that we have it bracketed off. Like, for instance, right now in June, we have a original monthly contest, and we're gonna, we also have an acoustic monthly contest for the month of June. Watch the video. A little brief deal plays, and you're going to see a link of the explanation which is going to link to this video so you can understand what goes on and there's also going to be a link to post a video response so what are the rules well if it's an original contest you're in then your video response should have original music it should be your music or somebody that has given you permission to represent them and if it's an acoustic contest you're in then make sure it's acoustic by the same token, you're probably going to do better in the acoustic contest if you have an acoustic song than you would in the regular original contest, if that makes any sense. Um, some people like to run acoustic music in the regular contest. Rules really don't apply to us around here. There's only a few that we really have to play along with. The rest of it is all do what you feel like because that's, that's how music is. And there's really only a few other things that I have to say. If there's profanity in the song, sometimes you got to say what you got to say. If there's profanity in the song, we ask that you would just not put it into the, if you win, a spot. Don't send us a song with profanity in it. Edit that out of there. Um, and we do that because you put a song in, let's say you, you proudly use a curse word, and we're putting it onto a disc with other people. Just be mindful of the fact that this is a community effort. Um, you might be going onto a disc for the month with an inter instrumental song of just piano. Well, that person doesn't need to have a parental advisory on their piano song because they're on an album with you. Unfortunately, that's the way iTunes works. I can't put an album up to iTunes with one song with profanity and the rest not. They just label it all as one thing. You can enter as many songs as you'd like. But you may find yourself getting your vote diluted from people if you have a bunch of songs. They might be a fan of yours, and they're voting for these three songs of yours. Or maybe just one of your songs here, and one of your songs there, and one of your songs here. And overall, you don't get one song with a good number of votes. So I would recommend a smaller number than a bigger number if you're going to enter more than one song. Okay, so the month ends. Now what? Now it's time for the vote. I want to start off talking about voting by just thanking Rick once again for making a wonderful page that we can use that makes everything a lot easier. Real simple. The month ends. Contest is closed. Goes to voting. You go to MastonicRecords.com. Link in the description and the link on the channel. Go to MastonicRecords.com and in the upper right hand corner you see the vote button. Click the vote button. If you haven't registered yet, you'll see a little registration interface. Go ahead and fill that out. And we also get your YouTube name so we can figure out if you're an artist that's in the contest currently or if you're just a regular voter. Whether you're an artist or a regular voter, you get the same interface. You're going to come to a page for each contest that's available to vote on that's going to show all the videos. And then you're going to have three drop downs for three different votes. 
select from the drop down the artist that you want to vote for, artist that you want to vote for, artist that you want to vote for, and submit. And then you just vote it. Now, keep in mind, if you're an artist, the way Rick designed this software is that if you're an artist, it will determine that by your YouTube name that you signed in with, and it'll say, okay, you can't vote for yourself, but you can vote for everybody else. So if you're an artist and you notice, oh, well, you know, my video's not in the anywhere to vote on, don't worry about that. It's there. It's just not visible to you. And that way we get, you know, because some people vote on themselves and some people don't because it's just in their nature or it's not in their nature. And that shouldn't sway the contest either. So you vote, you, you do your three picks. You can't vote for the same person three times. you got to make three different song choices. You submit. You can do that for any contest that's up available to vote on. And the way we tally the vote, we started out using just the popular vote in the beginning. And then we said, okay, wait a minute. It's getting into the hundreds of people and it's it's starting to drift really quick in favor of maybe a couple people that have a great popularity and a couple people that don't are just not getting the same kind of response. But yet, the songs are just as good. So I said, well, wait a minute. Um, let's use the artist vote. So for a while there, we were using the artist vote and the popular vote and kind of splitting them. We'd have two tallies and take the average of both. We're now using the artist vote as our primary for the tally. But what we have every month is a bunch of ties. So if there's a tie, the popular vote is then used to figure out who wins the tie. So you got a winning spot on the disc. We put your disc up for sale on our website as a physical CD. We also sell your individual songs on our website. And we also sell your songs through iTunes, Amazon, a Rhapsody, eMusic, Napster, and a, a few others. I think there's like a dozen in total. We use Songcast as our uh, intermediary for iTunes and Amazon. Subscriptions. I want to be very clear on this topic as I watch some other mischief going on on other channels and I don't want to, it soured me to the whole subscription discussion. In the beginning when we started I said okay, to vote you should be a subscriber. Then I started to witness some wild things going on. So let's be very clear. If you want to enter a video or vote or be involved in the contest, you don't need to subscribe. Um, you don't need to put a link to us on your title. You don't need to mention our name in your video. You don't need to run our videos on your page. You don't need to chant our names three times before you go to bed. Um, no other rituals that I can think of. We want you to subscribe to the channel and support the channel and tell your friends about the channel if you like what we're doing here. If you like the music that you hear here, there's a little uh, yellow button that says subscribe on it. Hook it up. It's a metric that YouTube uses. It's a much bigger deal for somebody like us who's you know, on our way to a thousand. It's something that YouTube uses to, to track success. And uh, it, you know, it's, I'm not gonna say to you that I don't want a, a thousand subscribers as soon as I can get them, but um, don't feel like you're obligated. We work for you guys, all right? Anybody, be it me, Rick, or whoever else that, that's involved in the program, uh, we work for you. And it's not the other way around. You, you don't work for us. <laughs> As always, if you have any questions, comments, reach out to me. And I will uh, just say that it's great to be involved. It continues to be great. It continues to be exciting. And uh, thanks again for all the support, all the participation. And feel free to reach out to me anytime with any comments or questions. Thanks.